Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget. This is going to be a quick preview for the Flyers versus Kings as we go over the three key factors to beating the Los Angeles Kings. Number one, finally play well in front of your goaltender post the holiday break. Yes, we got some points, but not good enough hockey. I've been playing in front of our goaltenders. Yes, Brass, Lawton, and Hart have been out, but Carter Hart. And we use that excuse, right, because Carter Hart has been out. But what has been the biggest key of these two games we played? Goaltending, even without Carter Hart. So if you want to argue Lawton because he plays a great Swiss Army knife role and a great two-way role and the brass brings more to the offense, then maybe we can get into that argument. But the Flyers still should have been able to play better in front of the goaltender. Um, Even with Scotty Lawton out of the lineup because Broussard ain't much on defense. Um, So... Playing good in front of your goaltender is a key for tonight's game. Another key for tonight's game is the energy that Cam Atkinson has been playing at more under Mike Yo. He's been getting more shots on a, or on net, excuse me, from the ice, and I think that is going to have to continue. It also seems like Max Woolman might end up being with Fairby and Hayes today, and he's been playing well. So obviously, earning those people move up the lineup is he necessarily a second line NHL forward? Probably not, but giving these people opportunities up the lineup, I think that just makes a better morale throughout the team, and it kind of trickles down effect, because it shows that you're giving rewarding guys that do well, and not just continuing to keep the same veterans up like AV tended to do at times too much, in my opinion, at times. Um, Kevin Connaughton is going to come back in the lineup. I thought maybe you'd go back to see where I had a fun fight. Um... But uh, Kanaden and Yandel might look a little bit squeakier clean, but also Keith Yandel has to um, improve his play as a whole. But again, the first key is play good in front of your goaltender. The second key is um, I think that you need to see guys like Max Woman continue to do well. He got rewarded to move up the lineup, so let's continue to see him do well. And then I want to see uh, the continuing good play of Cam Atkinson since uh, Yo's come aboard and better play of JVR and continuing good play of Claude Drew. You need to keep these guys staying hot that already are hot because then you need to see guys that haven't been getting it going fully yet. Um, like the Limbloms who've had his moments but has to get it going fully yet. The McEwen who had his moments at the beginning but's gone a little bit cold. Uh, you want to see these guys that have been good since Yo's took over, like the JVR, Drew, and Atkinson. All three of those guys in those lines have looked better uh, since Yo's taken over, other than Drew, who's looked great all season. Woman's looked fantastic since Yo's taken over. Hayes has looked good, and then Farabee's looked very good. Uh, Frost has had his moments of struggle, Bunny, but I think that's because he's still just realizing how solid he can be, and like Yo kind of said, once he gets the confidence going... That's a key. So a key factor for me in this game is that second line. Uh, Hayes, other than just playing good for your goaltending, the second key factor is really just the second line as a whole and not just the fact that you're getting people rewarded but and you want to have the same people uh, keep playing well. The other part of the second key factor is just that second line as a whole because Fairby's been playing well. Woolman got rewarded, moved up, and Kevin Hayes has been playing better. So adding speed on the wing with Hayes, who obviously is playing through a little bit, I think that's just going to help uh, him. And then... Frost, Limblum, and Konechny. Konechny's been an assist wizard. I think he will get on the goal sheet very soon. And then uh, Morgan Frost has looked solid as well. Uh, he's going to have his bugaboo moments in the defensive end because he's still learning, but uh, he's, he's looked solid. And then Oscar Limblum has been playing better since Mike Yo's come in three goals, five assists. Um, obviously, he's going to continue to improve as well. But the first key factor, play good in front of your goaltender. Second key factor, continue to see these guys that have had improved play under Mike Yo to play well, like the Max Woolmans of the world, the Oscar Limblums of the world, Morgan Frost, Travis Konechny, especially since Yo's come in. Even Jackson Kate looked very good in his games um, since Yo's come in as well. And Sanheim's looked like our best defenseman since Yo's come in. So continue to see these guys play well, but also the other guys uh, continue to to be as good as they've been, like the Jerus of the world, and Cam Atkinson, who even when he won his point struggle, he still was noticeable on the ice and wasn't kind of just not, you didn't even notice he played in the game per se. So this has been a quick preview to the Flyers versus LA Kings. <clears throat> I think Martin Jones can beat another one of his former teams um, if he is just able to get a better play from the Philadelphia Flyers in front of the net. Play better in front of the net. Continue to get good play from the guys that have been producing this year, like the Atkinson, the Drews, the Sanheim, and uh, Bronze. And then have the guys like the Wilmans, the Cates, uh, the Limbloms, and also Fairby's been producing this year, the TKs, and all the rest of the bunch that have been doing much better since Yo's come in. We have to continue to see that. But we also just have to continue to see 
the way to get points. Yeah, it's great to battle and get points, but play the hell better in front of your goaltender. That's the main key to tonight's game, to be able to get a win from Martin Jones against one of his former teams, the Los Angeles Kings. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the game.